Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Guys, the best way to support a channel is by clicking the like, commenting, sharing the video. If you want to be a part of the chatterbox, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join and also if you are not following me on Instagram please make sure you go and click that follow button under Miss Serenity underscore Smith and then also if you're not following my blog my blog is Miss Serenity Smith babies.com and I think those are the most places that I post the most um, other than here so today I am here with baby Aspen and Aspen is the prototype sculpt. The sculpt name is actually Aspen, but I kept that name. He sculpted by Claire Teller. Um, I was the prototype artist for this particular sculpt and um, he is about 19 inches long. So he fits newborn size clothes. Um, he can wear some preemies. But I guess it's all about how you weight them to um, how well they will fill out their clothes and everything. I had originally weighted him to be a little bit um, smaller than, well, I, I'm not going to say smaller. I, I, he has the same body that comes with the sculpt and all that and everything. But like as far as the poly feel and stuff, I didn't like fluff him all the way out because I wanted him to fall like a newborn and be really really floppy and cuddly and so that's what I did now today I actually went in and put in a little bit of that very soft um cluster uh, fluff from Bountiful Baby inside him and the reason why I got him here like this today um is to kind of talk about some of the things I think that all reborn mommies should have in their house now um, Aspen, like I said, is weighted to be a little bit floppy. I already, I didn't think about it till after I did it, but I've already put the fluff in, but I'm going to show you guys some of the materials that I use, um, in my babies. I should have had grabbed, oh, I don't have the actual packing anyway, but I will, I could probably run and go show you the difference in between the polyf polyfills. Um, I actually do weight each baby differently depending on the baby uh, size and how I want them to fall. And I also mix different types of polyfills in my babies as well. But I'm going to show y'all guys the basics um, too. Because when you get babies, everybody's preference is different. Some people like their babies heavier. Some people like their babies lighter. And I'm also going to put him on one of these onesies too. Um... So, an artist can never know how you want your baby weighted. So, number one, you should always get you some glass beads. They come by the pound, like this, and they're like $2.99. Sometimes Bountiful Baby have a sale, and they'll be a little less, but they're like $2.99 for one pound. Um, so... This is one pound, but yeah, this is glass beads. Now, a lot of different places sell glass beads, but you want to be careful because I absolutely personally hate the sandlight be beads. To me, they don't give it as much weight sometimes, depending on which ones you get. And also, they get all over the place and they seep through the stockings and it's just, it's very messy. Um, I just don't like it. Um, back in the day, originally Reborns were weighted with actual sand. Um, I think it was supposed to be sanitized sand, but then, you know, people start getting it out of the backyard because y'all know y'all hood like that and using cat litter and all that stuff. And, you know, people just took it to the stream. So glass beads is now the most common use thing. However, there's no particular policy on that. You can't put whatever you want in your babies. I mean, some people put fish rocks in their babies too, but that's, you know, that's no shade, no tea. But um, this is stocking. So I get this. 
I get these from Bountiful Baby as well. And I used to buy them all from like all different stores, Publix, Walmart, whatever. But I found the ones that Bountiful Baby sell is the best because they are thick and you only need one really and it will hold them. And the inside is very thick. So, all right, so you got your stocking. You got a little fuzzy on you. You got a stocking, you got your glass bead. Then you need zip ties. This is what we put in the joints, the arms and legs and the head. So it goes in and then you take it and you push it through and I'm not wasting my zip tie child for y'all, but you, yeah, you get the point, it goes through and you just slide it through and then when you get it as tight as you want it, you clip it. So which means you also should invest in one of these. And clip it all the way to the end because if not, it'd be sharp. So these are like one of these nail clipper thingies. I don't know what you call them. Um, but you get them out of Walgreens or anywhere that sell like nail kit supplies. So I think, so you should have that. Also, you should have you some polyfill. So this is this kind is like this the other kind is like ew it's so it, it's very soft hold on guys i'm gonna run and get it it's very soft but it also gets all over the place this one is like very squishy it doesn't really like flattens and it don't cl like cluster up I don't know if you can see it but if you, like this one though it gets like it'll stick to their cloth and stuff like that so you kind of have to be pulling stuff off so see this one but you see this one how soft it is this one like is like silky and this one is kind of more like a teddy bear type kind that you would put in so I use a combination of the two but it doesn't matter you can get whatever kind you want. You just don't want like the kind that's gonna like clump up in them and then just get all lumpy inside them. But those are the main things that I think that every reborn mommy should have on hand. Cause if you get a baby, sometimes a baby can be absolutely beautiful, but either don't have no weight, too much weight, under fluffed, over fluffed, and you wanna make adjustments. So that's that's your key essentials guys you know I, it's like a care packet you should always have with you um that's just my opinion I was terrified at first to take my baby apart the first time and but then I did it and I was so happy um because I was able to bond with the baby after I got it weighted properly this is his pacifier out. Now, um, Aspen actually have um, gums. He has a tongue. He has, it kind of looked like he got a uvula, but it is really not. But he does have like top and bottom gums. It's just really, his, his mouth is like really detailed for um, a reborn baby. It's really not usually that detailed in the, in the baby's mouth. Um, now, my thing with my Aspen, and I don't show him as much, and it's probably mainly because of this reason, is I just, I feel like he doesn't photograph as well. I am going to share some pictures today, though, of him on Instagram. I don't know which one I want to put him on. I think he'll look so good in that green, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to put him on the green. But, um, yeah, it, it's, uh... He doesn't he doesn't photograph as as well but he's absolutely gorgeous in person y'all just have to trust me on it um what happened is with him i did a very very different texture on him um none of my other babies have it um it's very skin like and um but then i also did some like on his nose and stuff and different things he has other little he has different little things going on with his skin to make it look more realistic. 
in person and what happened is what happens is when I have on all my lights and I take his pictures the light will like bounce off of certain areas and it'll either make him look like he's shiny or it'll make him look like he got, got shadows where he don't have shadows um it'll show make him look like he got more shading in his face than he might do or something I don't know how to explain it I don't know what why but Say, mommy don't care because <laughs> as long as he looks good in person so um I'm just very particular and I love taking pictures of my babies but I also be wanting them to look their best that's just me and that's that's when I take pictures of other people babies or not I've seen people where they take great pictures of their own babies that they paint and then they take shabby pictures of um, other people, other artists work or whatever. I guess they just don't care because it's not representing them. But I, I have always been like that. Even before I was painting, I've always like wanted to show the baby as closest to the real thing. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna, and I, that's, I'm not gonna get into that, but I'm not gonna doctor up photos to try to make something look better. Cause that's kind of misleading. And even as a collector, it's misleading because I see a lot of collectors like really, really duping up their photos. Um, and I, I mean, I, it's it's your prerogative and it's your baby and I can kind of understand it. Um, if you, that's, you know, you want your baby to look good and if you don't like the photos, then I understand it because again, in probably in in the collector's mind they're just trying to do the same thing like they don't want the baby to look bad and maybe they have to doctor it up because maybe their babies are not photographing correctly with the lights and stuff like that too I don't know but yeah I try I try not to really edit my photos well I don't I try not to I don't edit them <laughs> I mean I edit like cutting and cropping stuff out like in the background or the edges or something like that but as far um, first of all I don't know how to do it so maybe maybe if I knew how to do it maybe I would um I don't know but I don't I, I just don't bother with it it's just not worth my time but that is my little man man um like I said I just I love this sculpt I love the the legs on this baby more than anything I know that sounds crazy. I love the dainty hands and feet, but I really love, um, oh, you could have wore, let me see if I switch these mitts out, but yeah, I, I just, I love a well sculpted doll. And so Claire Teller is very, very skilled at sculpting like, um, bodies on babies and stuff like that and it's like it's the biggest thing for me when with re with reborns and silicone is that I always find that I can find a cute face no problem but then I just don't usually like always like the uh the limbs and stuff so when I find one that I do is very nice. Let's see. Do I like him with that? I think I prefer him with the 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 same color, the green. <laughs> and it's like his hands. So his hands like transition, and they're the lighter, um, a little lighter than his regular skin tone. But on camera, it like jumps off the page. But in person, it's not like that. <laughs> It's so weird. I just can't. So if you guys ever wonder why I don't show him as much, that is the honest truth. I'm being really honest with you guys. That's part of the reason is because I don't feel like he photograph as well as I think he should. Um, but again, when you play with different textures, sometimes it, it's a, it's a, Blessing and a curse all at the same time. Like it's it's great and it looks good in person and it feels nice, but it doesn't always photograph great. So, but I don't care. 
you know it's it, like I said and then that's you know that's one of the things with me too it's like the mommies when they get their babies that's all that matters to me like I don't I'm not one of them people at first at one point I was like one that be like trying to like oh man I wish they would take better pictures of baby no I don't even care no more it's like as long as that mommy is happy and in bliss with their baby in person I don't care what their photographs look like long as me and that mommy know what that baby look like that's all that matters so um that's another subject for another day where we can well I would talk about how my perspective changed on shopping for babies too so anyway, that is Mr. Aspenpool. Um, his edition will be an open edition for a limited time. Um, so I guess once the pre-orders come, and depending on how the kits do, you know, it depends on how many um, she will keep in stock. Claire Taylor will keep in stock, and then she may actually just be like, "Okay, that's enough. I'm done. I don't want to see any more of these." and be over so make sure when they do get in stock if you are interested in them to go ahead and grab you one just to put one on the back file just in case baby y'all know how it go all right talk to you guys later thanks